The Albert Kennedy Trust works with over 500 people a year who are homeless or living in a hostile environment just because they've been brave enough to come out and be themselves and be gay. With us, we provide them with safe homes, we provide them with mentors, we provide them with training, and ultimately, we help them get back into education and get their life back on track. We take 1,500 calls a year and work with up to 100 young people at any one time. Well, I've been a supporter of the Albert Kennedy Trust since it was founded. It's an inspiring story, and it's, uh, it's one of those charities that you can explain in one sentence, and everybody gets it. And it's just depressing that 25 years on, there's more need for the trust than ever. This is the commercial for AKT. Its title is What Might Have Been, and so essentially what we're doing is we're taking famous faces, actors, celebs, and putting them in situations that they may have been in had their lives not been what they were. We've filmed Paul O'Grady living alone in his council flat, has lived there for years, has no friends, has no family, uh, and he's kind of terrorised by the neighbourhood street kids. And the first scene that we shot this morning was with uh, Andrew Hayden Smith. He is basically a heroin addict getting a fix from his dealer in his sort of squat bedroom. I've seen McKellen out on the street as a homeless man. I see Sue Perkins uh, walking around the streets begging for money. And I see Sam Fox as a prostitute. Um, obviously with a charity like AKT, they rely on donations and don't have much money. So it's imperative that they get as much support as possible. And we've had all the crew working for nothing, as are all celebrities, which is amazing. When I was approached about being part of the campaign, um, I thought it was a great opportunity to raise awareness. Hopefully it will, and, uh, and it will provide some help for them. It's a, a brilliant idea, and that's why yeah, I get involved, because I was sitting there for the grace of God, go I, to tell you the truth. I mean, this could be me today, really. It's not, it's makeup, I do assure you. We live in a really fortunate corner of the world. We're affluent and we're, we're lucky and for people to still suffer because of the prejudice of some is unforgivable. So um, I thought it was something that was important to be involved in. Today I played a prostitute, which could happen to many women who have difficulty explaining to their parents or to their friends that they are gay. And a lot of them get bullied. Then they end up on the streets and they try to earn money. And uh, this is the kind of thing what can happen to a woman. It's all very well to say, come out, come out, if you're wealthy and you're from a sort of loving middle-class family and you know, you're know you with people who understand but if you're on a sink estate, say in Hull and you've no money, it's a, it's a different kettle of fish then it becomes, I'd say, virtually impossible and it takes great courage. Just imagine what it must be like to, to tell your parents something about yourself it's so open <laughs> deep Mum, Dad, I'm gay, and being hit over the head, or probably literally, and then thrown out of the family home. It's just that image, I suppose.